Starting life, yes. Charity is watching and um, Francesca. Well, blessings of the Lord be upon all of you. I pray that you are doing well wherever you are. K-O-J-O, -O, blessings. K-O-J-O, -O, blessings from the nation of Ghana. Gilson from Turkey. Gilson from Turkey. Blessings from Turkey. Blessings to you in Turkey. Please, as always, I am um, a little behind schedule today for one or two reasons. And so um, I'm still with you today. Lynn, blessings upon you. Look, listen, please tag a friend, invite somebody, and um, share this broadcast to as many as you can, all right? Um, using only the Facebook stuff today, um, again, we need to uh, fix up some stuff over here. So uh, do me a favor and do that. Beautiful disciple Lavander, blessings of the Lord be upon you. Again, let me um, um, just apologize to you for coming a bit late, but we're going to be on a hello to you, Bira from India. Hello to you, Bira from India. Bira, the Lord is with you. Just commit your total life into the hands of Jesus, and he will do you good. Oh, Paul from Canada, now smile. God bless you, all of you, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Oh, Paul, oh, Paul, oh, Paul from Canada, Bira from India, Gilson from Turkey, K-O-J-O -O from Ghana, and uh, Bill Dallas, let me tag Bill Dallas. Yes. Do you want to tag Bill Dallas in this video? Uh, tag Dallas. Tag him. Bishop Dallas from uh, the state of Pennsylvania. Blessings of the Lord be upon all of you. Well, listen. Invite your friends right now. All right. I'm not going to be able to do all that. Abba Ewusua from uh, United Kingdom. Abba, blessings of the Lord be upon you. Invite friends, loved ones, share this broadcast right now. Tag a friend. Keep your hands on the like and um, the love stuff and all that. Let me know that um, this broadcast has been a blessing to you. And therefore, you want to be a blessing to somebody else. Okay, let's go, to, let's go straight to the word of God and uh, with a prayer. Our Father in heaven, we give you praise, glory, and honor. We thank you for this blessed day you have given unto us. This is the day the Lord you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We didn't do it. You did it for us. You said we should rejoice. So we're going to be obedient to your word. Rejoice. We ain't going to pay no attention to any problem or challenge because they are all part of that which comes to strengthen us and to make us increase in our walk with you we give you the, all the praise father bless this your precious ones under the sound of my voice let revelation knowledge flow freely in their lives nothing oh god that is not of you is coming our way for us to receive it but we receive everything that is of you we give you praise glory and honor in jesus name amen I believe you are still breathing. Come on, shout amen. Pinch yourself. Know that you are breathing and you are well and all that is good. Smile home. Smile home. God bless you. Let me wave to some of you and all that. All right, let's go straight to the word of God this morning. I believe that um, the word will be a blessing to you. We are reading from the book of Romans. And uh, let me just start from Romans, the first chapter, the first book of Romans Verse 16, which I agree with Paul, the apostle, Paul, the apostle, that he says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Hey, 
say, let that be your statement. I am not ashamed. Verse 16, 16 of Romans chapter 1. I am not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God for salvation. It is the power of God for salvation. I am not ashamed. Now you can call me or Sofumoko or anything you want to call me. I am not ashamed of the gospel of God. Because it is, for it is the power of God for salvation. My salvation and your salvation means more important to God than anything else. And I keep saying that. Are you listening? So don't be ashamed of the gospel. And I am not. That's why you're going to see my handsome self every day as long as my breath is still in me. The Spirit of God is in me to bring you the Word of God. To increase you, to motivate you, to um, you know, energize you to get to the level in which God expects you to be. If you believe it, say Amen. Verse 17. For in the gospel, for in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed. The righteousness of God is revealed in the gospel. Both springing from faith and leading to faith. Are you listening? The righteousness of God is in the gospel and it's revealed. It's revealed both springing from faith and leading to faith. Are you listening? As it is written, as it is written and forever written, the just and the upright shall live by faith. We ain't living by what we see. We're not living by what we feel. We're not living by the circumstances in which we, we are facing. And we are not living by what we are going through, the challenges of life. We live by faith. <clears throat> amen. Come on, shout amen, somebody. We live by faith. Faith in what? Faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Faith in the fact that Jesus has done it all. <clears throat> faith in the fact that Jesus is the true vine and we are the branches in him. And as long as we are connected in him, all is well. Listen, I declare to you right now that it is well with you and your house. If you believe it, say amen. It is well with you and your house. It is well. It is well with you and your house. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Don't believe the lie of the devil. Listen, I've told you and keep telling you and will always tell you this. <clears throat> Whenever you are going through whatever you are going through, remember, as a branch, you go through pruning time. As a branch, you go through a pruning time. And so when you are going through your pruning times, what you call, you know, challenges or whatever headaches or whatever it, you terminology you give it, <clears throat> you are going through your pruning time and you're going to come out beautiful. Branches go through pruning times. And as long as you are connected to the vine, the true vine, Oh, I love that. Jesus says, I am the true vine and you are the branches. And as long as you are connected to the true vine, you are going to go through a pruning time. Now, how do you stay with Jesus and never increase? How do you connect to Jesus and never see increase in your life? Then it's not Jesus you are connected to. Are you listening to me? Beloved, you need to come to this understanding to know that life has something for you to enjoy and as long as you have this understanding that you are a branch connected to the true vine which is jesus you will go through a time of pruning to bring the best out of you to bring you to the better maturity of understanding who you are in christ glory be to god are you listening to me hallelujah amen Hallelujah. And so I want you to understand this. As long as you are a branch connected to the vine, you will go through a pruning time. And pruning time is what you call challenging time. Pruning time is what you call dry time. Pruning time is what you call a time where you are sick. 
or you don't feel well, something is not working, you are doing this, you have done that, and all that, nothing seems to be working. Beloved, there are times where prayer don't even work. There are times where, you know, you're shandabite and hedabite. It's like, man, what is going on? Listen, stop giving the devil all that credit that he doesn't deserve. You are going through your pruning time. And pruning time is what branches go through. Are you listening? Branches don't get up and quickly give credit to the devil. The devil is against me. The enemy is against me. I was sharing with uh, um, 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 uh, Lynn this morning. I said, the enemy only try to come against those who have been purchased by the blood of Jesus. That's what the devil does. That's his job. So get used to the job of the devil and live your happy life in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. You are complete in him. Nothing is, listen, don't think that the devil is going to succeed as long as you are connected and you are complete in Christ Jesus. He ain't going to succeed. It is his job to try to, you know, see if he can get you to fail. That's what he does. That's his job. Understand his job. Like you know your job. Whether you are a principal like Omar or you are a nurse like uh, uh, whoever or you are a doctor or you are that. You know your job. That is his job. You got to know his job. Are you listening to me? That's his job. But let, let him keep his job and then keep your nose and your completeness in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And enjoy your daily life. Praise God. Are you listening? You need to come to... See, you have to come to the place of, of, of being a radical Christian to know that it don't matter how it feels like. It don't matter how it looks like. It don't matter how it smells like. Jesus Christ is your Lord. Hallelujah. And that settles the matter. It does not... I, I don't... Listen. I do not care what you are planning against me. I don't care what you're writing about me. I don't care how the situation is looking like. All I know that I know that Jesus Lord is my Lord and my Savior. He is the one who shed his blood to redeem me from eternal damnation unto God's eternal life. And that is settled. Period. Amen. Amen. You better get that into your hair. Get that into your life. Who, who cares? Who cares about what the devil's trying to do? Let him try. Listen to that English. Trying to do. Trying. He trying. Are you listening to me? So it is it is forever written and will it remains written that the just shall live by faith. Glory be to God. Are you listening? They just shall live by faith. Come with me to Romans chapter 10. Glory be to God. Man, I feel like I, I need to get this thing to you real fast and quick. And let it drill it, let it be drilled in your in your members here. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 10. Look at verse 1. All right, are you there with me? Romans chapter 10. Brothers and sisters. My heart desire, and this is Paul. Man, I love Brother Paul. My heart desire and my prayer to God for you is for your salvation. For Israel, it's for their salvation. See, why, why wasn't Paul thinking about anything else but the salvation of man? Because that is what means, that is what, what it means a lot to God than anything else. Your salvation. And you know that when you're, listen, your, in your salvation, you are complete. Everything is complete. It may look like something is, you know, there's a dry time or something is quiet. Things are not moving. You are still complete. Are you listening to me? You are complete. For verse 2, For I testify about them that they have a certain enthusiasm for God, but not in accordance with correct vital knowledge about him and his purpose. Listen, you need to come to that place of knowing that you are complete in Christ. And nothing 
whatsoever, nothing whatsoever can shake the foundation of you. Are you listening to me? For not knowing, all right, watch this verse, verse 3, for not knowing about God's righteousness, which is based on faith. God's righteousness is based on faith. It's based on faith. It's based on faith. Beloved, I am here today to let you know that the word of faith brings salvation. The word of faith brings salvation. And salvation is connected with faith. Are you listening? For not knowing about God's righteousness, which is based on faith, and seeking to establish their own righteousness based on works, they did not submit to God's righteousness. Because they didn't know that it is by faith. It is not by works. It is not by works. It doesn't take, listen, it, it does not take works. It takes your faith. Glory be to God. Are you listening? For Christ is the end of the law, which is the works in which they think that that is what they ought to do to become righteous in the sight of God. No. For Christ is the end of the law. It leads to him. It leads to him. He Christ and its purpose and is fulfilled in him. Glory be to God. For granting righteousness to everyone who believes in him as Savior. So, your righteousness is in Christ Jesus. I'm the righteousness of God. I don't care what you say about me. You see, if you think you are not righteous, and you think that because you are not righteous, I am not righteous, you are wrong. But I am not going to argue with you because I know that which I know that which I know that I know that which I know that it don't matter what you are saying concerning what I know. I know that which I know and nothing will change what I know because all I know is that I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And you must know that too for yourself. For yourself. Amen. You must know that. You must know that you are the righteousness of God in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. For Christ is the end of the law, and it leads to him, and its purpose is fulfilled in him. For granting righteousness, watch this, for granting righteousness, are you listening? Granting righteousness to everyone who believes in him as Savior. Do you believe in, in Jesus as your Savior? Is Jesus your, your Lord and your Savior? If you have not made Jesus your Lord and Savior, beloved, I'm telling you, this is, the, this is the time for you to start thinking about doing that. Make him your Lord and your Savior. Your righteousness. Outside Jesus, you are not righteous. Outside Christ Jesus, you are not righteous. Your righteousness is in Christ Jesus. Amen. If you believe it, shout amen. Your righteousness is in Christ Jesus. For Moses writes that the man who practices the righteousness, which is based on law with all its intricate demands, shall live by it. Listen to that. Listen to that. For Moses writes that the man who practices the, the righteousness, which is based on the law, with, its, with all its intricate, intricate demands, shall live by it. But... The righteousness based on faith, which produces a right relationship with him. Glory be to God. Says the following. This is who the righteousness of God says. Glory be to God. Do not say in your heart, who will ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down. Or who will descend into the abyss? And that is to bring Christ up from the dead. As if we have to be saved by our own effort. As if... We have to be saved by our own effort, doing the impossible. Beloved, all that effort you try to put into uh, becoming righteous, you are wasting your time. The just shall live by faith, period. All that effort you try to do to you know, be the holy adult and all those things, stop wasting your time. You are wasting more time in enjoying yourself in Christ Jesus than, than, than what you're trying to do. You are wasting a lot of time. You are complete. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing burned, nothing twisted. You are complete in Christ Jesus. I am complete in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. 
Hallelujah. But what does he say? Watch verse 8. Verse 8. What does he say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of, of uh, the word, the message, the basis of faith, the word of faith, which we preach. Because if you acknowledge and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, in other words, recognizing his power, authority, and majesty as God, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Glory be to God. You will be saved. <laughs> Hallelujah. All you got to do is to believe in your, in your heart and confess it. Let that which you believe come out of your mouth. Confess it with your mouth. That Christ, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. My goodness. Is that a lot of work to do? Unbelief has consequences, y'all. Unbelief. Unbelief will put you in a state of, of craziness, of, of believing wrong, receiving wrong, believing wrong, and then acting and living wrong. Listen, it don't matter if I don't have something that I need right now. I still believe that I'm the righteousness of God in Christ. And I have what I say. Hallelujah. And I'm going to, I'm going to have it. Glory be to Have you been to a store? I mean, a whole big shop, store, grocery store maybe, and then you're looking for a particular thing, and then you find out that, oh, they, oh, this time they don't have it. Does that change the store of what it is? No. You just go and come back another time, whether the next day or the, by, by the end of the week or something, and they may have it on the, on the shelves. It didn't change the name of the store, of the store, just because they didn't have it. At the time, the fact that you don't have something doesn't mean that you are not the righteousness of God in Christ. The fact that you are going through some pruning time doesn't mean that you are not complete in Christ. The fact that uh, you know you haven't gotten what you're looking for, beloved, don't let the devil lie to you, don't let religion lie to you. Stay where you are. You are the, the, the righteousness of God in Christ. You are complete in Christ. I don't care what anybody wants to say. I am complete. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And I feel good about that. Hallelujah. If you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you believe in your heart, if you confess it with your mouth, and if you believe it in your heart, and you confess it with your mouth, and you believe it in your heart, that confess it with your mouth. You believe it in your heart. Confess it with your mind. You will be saved. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Man, I don't know what else to tell you. Look at verse 10. We read in Romans chapter 10. Look at verse 10. For with a heart, a person believes. Oh, glory, 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 glory. With a heart, a person believes in Christ our Savior, resulting in his justification. That is made righteous. Being freed of the guilt of sin and made acceptable to God. And with the mouth he acknowledges and confesses his faith openly. Resulting in and confirming his salvation. Are you listening to me? With the mouth confession is made. With the heart one believes. Believes in what? That I am saved. That, that my salvation is assured. That I am guaranteed in Christ Jesus. That I am complete in Christ Jesus. That nothing is missing in my life. Nothing is broken in my life. God made me complete. I am complete. It don't matter the mistakes I made yesterday. Today is another day. Glory be to God. And God is showing me his righteousness. God is showing me his salvation. God is bringing me. He has brought me to the place of, a, of grace. Dispensation. And I'm enjoying my lift and my race. In this, in this dispensation of grace. And he ain't nobody going to tell me nothing about nothing. I don't want to hear any other gospel. I don't want to hear no other gospel other than the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And if you don't want to listen to me, you can turn me off. You have the right to turn me off. Listen, listen to what he says. I am going to openly, openly declare. Watch this now. Verse 10 again, he says, For with the heart, a person believes. With the heart, 
I'm not believing with my head. I'm believing with my heart. That Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. With a, with a heart, the person believes in, in Christ as Savior. Resulting in his justification, that is, being made righteous, being free of the guilt, being free of the guilt of sin and made acceptable to God. Did you hear that? Being free. I am free from the guilt of sin. I'm not walking anymore, living my life, looking on my shoulders as a sinful president who is saying what about me? Who is that? Who, 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 what? Nothing. I don't give who, please. And with a mouth, with my mouth, with a mouth, he acknowledges and confesses his faith openly. I confess my faith openly. That's why I said in the beginning, I am not ashamed of the gospel. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Resulting, he says, in and confirming his salvation. Let's read on a little bit. Verse 11. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him will not be disappointed. Oh my goodness. Whoever believes in him will not be disappointed. I don't know who you believe in him. And be beloved, I'm telling you, unbelief unbelief has its consequences you don't even want to think about it unbelief look at what he says verse 11 for the scripture says the scripture i'm not saying it the scripture said it. that's that's who god is that's what god is saying whoever believes in him in who in christ jesus will not be disappointed whoever believes in christ jesus will not be disappointed Whoever believes in Christ Jesus will not be disappointed. Whoever believes in Christ Jesus will not be disappointed. Whoever believes in Christ Jesus will not be disappointed. So it doesn't matter what you are going through. Believe in Christ Jesus. You will not be disappointed. It don't matter whether you have, you have it today or you don't have it today. Believe in Christ Jesus. You will not be disappointed. Oh man, it looks like the time is getting close. I don't know what I'm going to do. Believe in Christ Jesus. You will not be disappointed. Ah, this situation, it looks like it's getting out of hand. Believe in Christ Jesus. You will not be disappointed. I don't know what the, doc the doctors are saying. I have to do to get this surgery done. If I don't do this, I'm going to die in a day. Believe in Christ Jesus. You will not be disappointed. Are you listening to me? You need to come to that place of believing. If you don't believe right, you will end up living wrong. Are you listening? I keep drilling this thing in you. When you receive wrong, you will believe wrong. When you believe wrong, you will live wrong. When you live wrong, you will act wrong. Are you listening to me? You got to believe. The scripture says that. Verse 11. Whoever believes in him. In other words, whoever adheres to him. Trust in him and relies in him will not be disappointed. Glory be to God in his expectation. Your expectation will not be cut off. Your belief will not be cut off. Your expectation will not be cut off. Your expectation will not be disappointed. The only disappointment in the expectations of men is when they don't believe in Christ Jesus. It's when you don't believe in Christ Jesus. It's when you don't believe in Christ Jesus. It's when you don't believe in Christ Jesus. That's when your expectations will be disappointed. That's when your expectations will be disappointed. I am praying and believing God. Ah, and they said, I've done all the four day fast. It's like I'm, I, it's like I'm believing. No, you have, you have become an unbelieving believer. Stop that fighting, struggling to believe. Believe. You believe in the water you drink. Without any any question, how many times do you pray on the water that you drink? Well, I mean, this is some practical kind of Christianity, isn't it? That's what it is. This is some radical Christianity. That's what it is. Just believe. Most of the time, you you don't. I mean, you just sit in your car. You don't even think about it. You you have you have you have cultivated this this trust and belief in your car that is going to take you for, from point A to point B. Without even, even, even thinking. But you have such a problem in believing in Jesus. Most of the time you pick up water and you drink because you are thirsty. Because you believe that it's going to quench your thirst. 
You don't struggle to believe. But you are struggling to believe in Jesus. Beloved, you don't need to struggle to believe in Jesus. You don't need to come out of that place of struggling to believe. Believe in him. He who has 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 called you, he who has put has 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 your 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 destiny in his hands, he's able to do exceedingly far above what you think or even imagine. Are you listening? Just activate your faith. Look at verse 14 for the sake of time. But how would you how would people call on him in whom they have not believed? And how would they believe in whom? How will they believe in him of whom they have not had? Listen to this now. And how would they hear without a preacher or a messenger? Well, that's what I'm coming to sit down here to bring it to you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I told you before, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I am going to preach it. I'm going to teach it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to bath it. I'm going to. I'm telling you. I, listen. What the gospel of God has done for me, nobody on the face of this earth has done, has done for me. What the gospel of Jesus has done for me, nobody. And you think I'm just going to stop preaching? I'm not going to stop preaching. You thought you could stop me from preaching the gospel of God? You thought you could stop me from talking? You, you thought, man, you, you wasted your time. Is, there's even more coming. Hallelujah. Verse 15. And how would they preach unless they are commissioned and sent for, the, for that purpose? And this purpose for which I'm sitting down here, bringing the gospel of Jesus to you for your salvation. The gospel of Jesus is all about your salvation. Your salvation. Your salvation. Believe and confess. Believe and believe. Believe and believe. Believe and confess. Believe and confess. Trust in him. I'm telling you. Glory be to God. So excited. Amen. Verse 15, how would they preach unless they are commissioned and sent for that purpose? Just as it is written, forever, 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 and it remains written. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news of good things. Good news of good things. How beautiful are the feet. Glory be to God. Verse 16, but they did not all pay attention to the good news of salvation. The good news of what? Salvation. Salvation is a good news. That's the good news of the gospel. Your salvation. That what Jesus alone can do for anybody. Jesus is the one who has, has, has brought you and I to where we are. Glory be to God. Amen. But they did not all pay attention of the good news of salvation. For Isaiah said, Lord, who has believed our report? Who has believed? So therefore... Therefore, so faith comes from hearing what is told and what is heard. Faith comes by hearing, 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 hearing what is told and what is heard comes by the preaching of the message concerning Christ. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. Faith comes by hearing. If you want to know how you get faith, hear the word of God. If you want to know how you hear, why you get your faith increased, Hear the word of God. If you want to know how your faith will increase, listen to me every day. Your faith will increase. Come and join me every day on, the, on this platform. Share the platform. Let it go as far and be a blessing to somebody else. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. The more you hear, the more your faith will increase. The more you hear, the more your faith will increase. The more you listen, the more your faith will increase. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith does not come by prophecy. Faith does not come by anything else. Listen to me and listen clearly. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. The word in the beginning was the word. The word is not going nowhere. The Bible says everything will pass away by the word. Get that revelation. Everything is going to pass away by the word. And that's why you got to, you, 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 you have to hear the word. That's why you have to read the word. That's why you have to learn. I mean, I'm telling you, 
Faith comes by hearing the word. You must hear the word. You must hear the word. And you must hear every day. Every day, every minute, every second. Hear the word. Let the words register in you. Some of you, listen, who you may want to put this message on again. You are going to sleep. Put it on here. Hear the word. Sometimes you, you just want to take, you know, me time. Me time by myself. All right? Jesus taught us about me time. The Bible says that Jesus, every now and then, he went somewhere by himself. By himself. There is a me time. It is in the world. It's a me time. There are times where you need to have your me time. Me time. Spend time with God. Talk to him. Are you listening? Rightly divide the word. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. Rightly divide it. Allow the Holy Spirit. Tell the Holy Spirit to help you to understand the word of God. Amen somebody. But the important thing is, you must be in Christ. You must be in Christ. The Bible says, if anyone be in Christ, he's a new creation, a new creature, a new spiritual. Listen, if spiritually you are new, physically you're going to be new. Are you listening? If you are spiritually new, physically you're going to be new. So you don't need to worry yourself about who knew you 100 years ago and and uh and uh, some some things you are doing and uh, therefore listen i'm telling you and I'm, I'm going to repeat this if you are ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ jesus is going to be ashamed of you before the father in heaven he said that he said that today give your life to jesus and i want you to know you are complete in him based on the scripture that we read you are complete nothing is missing nothing broke don't believe the hype of the devil don't believe that or he, he comes to try to see whether you are solid and rooted and grounded in the word. Are you listening? When he comes, he tries to only try to comes to find out whether you ground, rooted and grounded in the word. When he came to Jesus, he came to find out whether Jesus knew who he was, whether Jesus was rooted and grounded. He says, if you are the Christ, then do this. If you are the Christ, all that Satan can't, wants to do that you pay so much attention to is for him to just come and see whether you are rooted and grounded. That's it. Show him that you are rooted and grounded. Show him that you are complete in Christ Jesus. Show him that it doesn't matter how, how, how it feels or how it looks like or how it smells. You are rooted and grounded in Christ Jesus. Show him. Are you listening? Why? Because you are complete in Christ. Today, if you have not given your life to Jesus, you are li listening to me. You are watching me right now. Yes, you. You are watching me. It's no accident that you came across this platform is because Jesus is waiting for you for you to give your life to him invite him into your heart and let him be the Lord and Savior of your life to turn that situation around for you in him you are complete in him oh you are complete everything everything means everything Give your life to him. If you are that person, you are watching me right now. Yes, you. Let me pray with you. The Bible says, if any two would touch and agree, whatever they ask of the Father, it will be done. That's scripture. So I want to touch and agree with you. All right? Close your eyes wherever you are so that you don't get distracted. And, and, and invite Jesus into your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I invite you into my heart. Come today. I've heard your word. And I need you. I want to be complete in you. Come into my heart. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. I surrender my life to you. Today, write my name in your book. And may you begin to teach me by the help of the Holy Spirit how to walk, how to talk, how to understand the things of you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. That sincere prayer into your heart. Listen, you say what you hear what the scripture says. If you, you believe in your heart, believe in your heart, and you confess it with your mouth. The Bible says that if you confess him with your mouth, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And believe the word. Are you listening? So this is the simplicity of the of, of the Christian life. 
It's not complicated, is it? It's not complicated. It's your belief. But unbelief, oh, will bring you to a place of headache. Unbelief. Are you listening? So as you have believed and you have received him right now, I want you to take the next step. And that is, look for in your geographic location where you live. All right? Look for a Bible-believing, teaching church. All right? Or a place of worship. Go there, introduce yourself to the leadership. Let them know you have, you have received Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. It means you are born again. Born again, it's a, it's a spiritual birth. You are, you are born again. Hallelujah. Oh, man, I applaud you. All right? Go there and let them know that you are born again and you, you, you have to be baptized. You got to be baptized. All right? They understand and they're going to help you to do that. Okay? And then if you want to you know, be part of them, join them. Don't only just go and listen. Read your Bible. If you don't have a Bible, listen. If you don't have a Bible, get one if you can afford it. If you cannot afford a Bible, all right, let me know. The number you can call, all right, it's 914, area code. If, if you are outside United States, it's plus 1914-246-2421. Uh, let me repeat the number again, plus 1914-246-2421, all right? Or you can go to the website of www.patrickquenu ministries the quenu is q u a i n double o like double o right you know double o all right yeah all right q u a i n o o dot com all right dot com and um, um, uh, get all the information that you need to contact us on that website as well there's a button which says donate Listen, that donate button is not for you to donate something for me to go to shop, for me to go and buy food to eat. It is for us, this ministry, to help the needy, the orphanage children. Are you listening? Today, the, the, the system I'm using now, because that's why I was even late, we couldn't put that, uh, which we have done so far with this orphanage children there. All right? But... Um, in uh, in collaboration with Joy in Giving Foundation. You can Google that as well. Joy in Giving Foundation. All right. We team up with that. It's a it's a it's a collaboration that this ministry have with Joy in Giving Foundation. Google Joy in Giving Foundation. See what we are doing with that with them concerning this orphanage children. We 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 need your finances to help them. Put where they are sleeping in order. Give them better beds to sleep on it. Better environment. Let's do it for the poor. Let's do it for these little kids who need it. All right? I, I not asking for me to go to shopping. Are you listening? Listen, I, 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 I'm very expensive. I'm telling you something. I am. And so it, it wouldn't, it, that's not what I'm looking for. But we need to do that. And you can check it out as well. If you go to the site, I believe um, you can connect. There's a link for you to see, okay? The Joy in Giving Foundation. We are blessing these uh, young ones, and we need all that we can accumulate right now. The rains, this is in Ghana, West Africa, a place called Volta region, all right? I mean, it's, it's, I was, I was um, 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 chatting with uh, one of the sisters yesterday and her experience in Africa, Man, she couldn't believe, you know, what these little kids were going through. And I say, yeah. And that's why we need to stretch our hands. So if you have not, if you are part of this ministry and have not sown anything, please reconsider to do that today. Go to the website and then give. If you want to use your cash app, all right, or a Zelle app, you, the number associated is 914 Five seven two nine eight one six nine one four five seven two nine eight one six. Please be a blessing today, and um, and let's be a blessing to these young ones as well. I pray that this uh, um, broadcast has been a blessing to you. Spread it out. Let it go as far as it can go. In the meantime, don't also sit down there. Be a blessing. 
share don't 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 be ashamed of the gospel don't be ashamed of the gospel are you listening if you have been on <clears throat> this broadcast from day to day and you have not shown a seat today today don't wait tomorrow do it for this this young one Man, i'm telling you life has a way of um, you know of of reciprocating what we do are you listening life has a way uh, i remember the story about uh, a lady who was looking for children she couldn't just get what she was looking for you know what we did she adopted a child a very day her and the husband adopted the lord opened their womb and today more children are coming you may be looking for something i'm not saying that's that's what it is but god has a way of doing and and jesus said you do it for these little children you've done it for me and 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 when you give to the poor you lend to god think about that do it for the little children and Jesus says, when you do it for them, you've done it for me. Think about Jesus, unless you don't believe him. And the scripture says, when you do it for the poor, you lend it for, you lend to God. Think about that. The same God that you are praying to, to help you. God, help me. God, open this door for me. God, he's telling you, when you give to the children, you have given it to me. When you lend it to the, when you give to the poor, you have lend it to me. Think about that. The same God you're going to. This is what he's saying. Today, let's help these children. And you can go there, Google it, and check what we are doing. All right? Be a blessing. So let me hear from you today. The rains have started coming where they are. We have finished the roofing. We need to do their retaining wall and then, you know, do their um screening and all that make sure that the place the water does not come to where they are sleeping and get this bed for them to sleep on oh my goodness be a part of it 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 i remember when hannah hannah said lord I, i've been praying all this while when she caught the revelation finally said lord when you give me that that boy i'm gonna give it back to him the womb open. I'm speaking to somebody right now. I'm, I'm speaking to somebody. I don't know who you are, but I'm speaking to you. But it's the Spirit of God that is speaking to you, not me. Spirit of God that is speaking to you. Do it today for this long, this, this little ones. Alright, I'm done. I'm not going to waste any more time in trying to convince you. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Mine I've brought you the gospel, the saving gospel. Your salvation is in Christ Jesus. Your completeness is in Christ Jesus. Your totality is in Christ Jesus. Never, never allow the enemy to think that he is winning. Let him come and do whatever he wants to do. You stay complete in Christ. And see if Christ is not able to preserve and protect for it, protect you. But remember. As a vine, as um, a branch connected to the vine, the true vine, you will go through your time of pruning, but it's only for you to come out even beautiful. Let your flowers become small mm, with a fresh scent. All right? Look, look, look for your pruning time. Look for your pruning time because it brings better things out of you. It brings better things. It brings the beauty out of you. Hallelujah. Look for your pruning time. Tell God, God, send me my pruning time. Because <laughs> I want to shine. I want to be beautiful. Amen. And don't believe that it has to do with some devil and demon and all them lying stuff that some of these people are telling you and all that. But don't believe that nonsense. All just, you know, to get you in the place of bondage. Of whatever their reason is. You are complete in Jesus Christ. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Look at how beautiful. Look at how handsome you are. Look at you. you. Look in the mirror. And look at yourself. Look at how beautiful you are. God created you. In his image. And in his likeness. You have nothing to worry about. Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. 
Oh, hallelujah. Hey, look, look at this big, look at this handsome face. And look at yourself. Look at how beautiful you are. Look at how handsome you are. And you want to throw in the towel because you're going through your pruning time. Please have understanding that this is what life of God through you is. Because you're a branch. He is a vine. You are connected to the, the vine. And you will go through your pruning time. Oh. Oh, glory, 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 glory. I tell you. Hey, I, I got to go. I got to go. May you be blessed. I, I want you to know. It is well with you and your house. It is well with you and your house. Because that is what God tells me. It is well with you and your house. Some of you having a sunny, sunny um, temperatures right now. Listen, look for some nice Kool-Aid, some nice ice cream. Chillax. Are you listening? Chillax. Just get some, you know, I mean, chillax. Don't, you, you are worrying about your pruning time. Why are you going to be worrying about your pruning time? Look at the plants that was, you know, in your backyard. Not, I mean, recently, they, like all the leaves left. All the leaves left. Now look at it again. They're coming back so beautiful, smelling very nice. Go and ask them. Were they complaining? But look at that. And you are admiring them. Oh, may you be admired. Allow yourself to go through that pruning time so that people will admire you. Are you listening? Acknowledge you, Benedicta Saf Safroa. If I don't pronounce it well, please forgive me, Benedicta. God bless you. Amen. Go through your pruning time and come on beautiful. And let's let let people admire you. Look at the look at the trees. You are admiring the, the trees now, right? Because they've come out beautiful and the, the flowers are looking nice. But you remember recently, they were not, not too long ago, a couple months down the line. They were dry. When I look at my back here right now, I'm telling you, them, them, them leaves so beautiful. And I was asking the beauty, you know, about how did you feel when you were going through your pruning time? And they were just smiling. They were so nice. Look at it. I'm admiring them. May you be admired. And again, I declare to you that it is well with you and your house. Live long and prosper. And if Jesus don't show up tonight, we're going to meet again tomorrow, same time. Until then, I want you to know I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. May the eyes of the Lord watch between us. Go and have a blessed day, a blissful day, a happy day. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. You are complete. Say to yourself, I'm complete. Amen. Well, as always, to leave you with this. You don't have no trouble. And that's why I tell you that. You don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith. Remember that word? It's your faith in God. Not in anything. Not in anybody. But in God. And in all thy getting. Get understanding. God bless you.